Hi folks, welcome back to the food shop. Today, we're going to dive into the art of cooking bacon on a stovetop the correct way. And make sure you stay till the end for a bonus tip you're not going to want to miss. Let's go. Let's start with a standard 12 ounce package of bacon. This is not a necessary step, but it's something I like to do. I separate the bacon before I cook it. It helps with the process. Start with the ungreased skillet. I like to use a 10 inch cast iron, but any skillet will do just fine, preferably nonstick. With the stove in the off position, place your bacon in the skillet and try not to overlap it. Now, you wanna set your heat to a medium high. After about two minutes, your bacon will be cooking up really well and we're ready for our first flip. A good set of tongs helps with this process. After the first flip, I like to move the bacon around a little bit to prevent it from sticking to the skillet. Then after about 20 or 30 seconds, you wanna flip your bacon again. The key here is you want to consistently Flip your bacon every 20, 30 seconds. And it only takes three or four flips of the bacon before you reach that desired crispiness that you're looking for. And remember, when you remove the bacon from the heat, the bacon's gonna continue to cook for about another two to maybe three minutes. So don't overcook in the skillet. Let's remove the bacon from the heat and transfer onto a plate lined with paper towels. The paper towels help to cool the bacon and remove the excess grease. I think these turned out well. They're not overcooked, not undercooked, but still flexible. And remember, they're gonna still cook for about another two minutes on the plate. And there you have it, crispy bacon on the stove top, done right every time. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Your comments are always greatly appreciated. And now for the bonus tip. Save that bacon grease. That is liquid gold. Easy to store in a small container in the refrigerator to use for many dishes. Eggs, hash browns, biscuits and gravy, grilled cheese, the list goes on. Thanks for watching.